Hello, everyone. I'm glad you're here. Let's get right to it. This is what you need to know today. The drums of war are beating, and they're echoing across the ocean, coming right at the United States of America. In the last couple of days, the Polish president spoke at the Ukrainian parliament. He issued the idea, the concept that possibly Ukraine could concede some of its territory to Russia in order to defuse things, in order to have peace again. The Ukrainian response was, no, we will keep fighting to have all our territory back as a sovereign nation. That is what we deserve. And so the war continues. Lives are lost. Money is spent. And we are drawn deeper into this conflict, whether we like it or not. In an effort to wean themselves off of Russian oil, the European Union has set up embargoes that they want to issue before the end of the year. If you're wondering where all our diesel is going, where our gas is going, our oil, it's going towards Europe as they are trying to pinch, to strangle the Russian economy by not buying their oil. The interesting thing is, Hungary is faltering on this. They are not so sure they want to be with the EU in this embargo and are giving red flags that their loyalty actually lies with Russia, China, Iran, North Korea. And so we will see how that pans out over the next few months. It's much like Turkey. Which side of the fence are you going to be on? And the pieces are moved on the chessboard of the world. And we sit and watch helplessly on the sideline, you and I. The only thing that we can do is prepare our homes, prepare our minds, prepare our souls. And so that is what we do. Stay well informed. Stay prepared. Stay close to God. This is Gina Lima Charlie. I'm out.